Today we're going to look at building conditions, or what we might call a decision, inside of Python. So I've already created a blank file here. I've created a comment and two variables, one storing 10, one storing 5. And I want to create just a simple condition to see which one is bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a, a blank line. And notice I actually skipped a line for where my cursor is. This creates a visual separation and helps organize my Python file a little bit easier. And this is strictly for me. Python's going to see a blank line and ignore it. So this is strictly for me to make it easier for me to see, read, and maintain my source code. In a small file that's 10 or 15 lines, it's no big deal. But once you start working on larger files, you got 100, 200, 500, or even more lines of code, this becomes a really big deal really fast. Now let's look at what we're going to do. We want to say that if num1 is greater than num2, we want to print out a message saying that num1 is greater than num2. So what we're going to do in Python is we're going to use what's called an if statement. It's very simple. It's if, and then we need to provide a condition. Our condition has to provide a yes, no, or true, false answer. The true false is actually what the computer is looking for. It's called a Boolean. So typically, especially when dealing with numbers, we're going to use one of what we call our conditional operators. Our conditional operators are equality, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, and not equal to. Let's first look at the greater than symbol. If num1 is greater than num2, I then want to do something. Now, I don't have to write out the word then. What I'm going to do is put a colon. The colon is going to identify the fact that I have a block of code that's going to follow that it needs to use. I'm going to go to a new line and indent this. As soon as I indent this, either by using the spacebar or the tab key, you'll notice that Notepad++ puts a little box on a line. This is letting us know that if I click on the little minus sign, it will collapse up that code. If I click on a plus sign, it's going to expand it. This is good if I don't need to see the code, but it also lets me know what's part of block that's going to run. In this case, all I want to do is use a print statement. Num1 is bigger. I get the enter key, go to a new line, and I'm going to hit the backspace key. What's that going to do? It's going to take me out of my block. You might say, well, how did it do that? Well, Python looks at the indentation level to see what block you're in. So it's very important you stay consistent with this. We'll see that in an example in just a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to bring up our command console. PY conditions.py. When I run it, it takes just a second and it's going to come back with num1 is bigger. That's what we expect because the number one variable has a value of 10, the number two variable has a value of only 5. Therefore, num1 is larger. What happens if we reverse this? So I'm going to say num1 is only value of 1. So now this result should be false. I'm going to go back to my console window. When I run my file again, I don't get a result. The reason why is very simple. I don't have a value to print if nothing happens. So I don't know if this worked correctly. If this failed, I need some additional information. So if my condition is false, I have another way of doing some additional block of code. And this is very important because quite often our condition statement will send us down one of two paths. One if it's true, one if it's false. Our false is going to be our else statement. I'll type else in the colon, go to new line, and indent. I add a print statement saying that num2 is bigger. Now I'm going to switch back and try to run my conditions again. And I have num2 is bigger, just as I would expect. 
So if num1 is larger, it shows that num1 is larger. If num2 is larger, it says num2 is larger. But we have a third check, and that is what happens if those two values were the same. Now, in all the numbers that it could possibly be, it's rare, but it does happen, and we can't ignore that fact. So let's look at how we're going to do that real quick. Inside my blocks, I can write any Python command or set of commands that I want to. This includes other conditional statements. So I'm going to put in a special condition. If num1 is equal to num2. Now you'll probably notice that it looks a little bigger than a standard equal sign. And that's because it's actually two equal signs. Whenever we check for equality, we always have two equal signs. One equal sign means that we're assigning a value to a variable. Two equal signs means that we're checking to see if they're equal. So I put a colon at the end of my if statement, and now I'm on my new line. Now to work inside of this if statement, I'll need to indent one more time. Every time I indent, it goes with my previous block of code. You'll notice with my indentation, I now have they are equal. That is part of that if statement. This is all contained inside my else. However, my num2 is bigger will always run because that is part of the else block for my first if statement. I actually need that to be inside of an else block for my second if statement. So I'm going to check to see if num1 is greater than num2. If it's not, I check to see if num1 is equal to num2. If it's not, then num2 is larger. To do that, I'll use I'll hit the enter key to go down one line. I'll use backspace to go so I'm lining up with my if statement. I need to make sure I'm in the same block as my if statement. And that will tie this else to that if statement. Then I'm going to come to my existing line and I'm going to indent it. That puts it as part of my else block within the else block. So indentation is very important. I can't have things that are indented that are not inside a block. I can't have indentation that is not consistent. I would like to use my tab key. That way I keep a consistent level. Whether my tab key is set to automatically insert spaces or a tab character does not matter. I have to be consistent with my indentation one group of indentation per block. When you get done, your file should look something like this. Num1 is still equal to 1 and num2 is still equal to 5. I'm going to switch over to my command prompt, run it. Num2 is still bigger, that's why I expect. I'm going to come back to my source file. I'm going to make them the same value. I'm going to save it run my file again, and now comes up with a message of they are equal, this is what I expect. Conditions are a very powerful and important part of programming, no matter what language you're in, this is how you do it inside of Python.